Our glory, hallelujah. Somebody bless his holy name. All, all glory goes to the one and only almighty God. Welcome to the channel, my brothers and my sisters, and welcome to yet another conference. I hope you all are doing well out there. I am doing magnificent. Okay, because the devil is mad and Father and I are glad and all is good on the home front. Glory, hallelujah. Today I'm going to be coming from the book of Ephesians chapter 6. And I will be reading verses um, 10 through, uh, let's see, maybe, <laughs> 20. Okay, okay, so let's get started. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand, therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, take in the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints and for me that utterance may be given unto me that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in bonds that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak glory hallelujah praise the reading of the word of the almighty God this is a spiritual battle, my brothers and my sisters in the Lord, that we are in. This is a spiritual battle. We have a cunning adversary. You will not outsmart him. You will not outthink him. You cannot outdo him. So you need the power of the almighty God. You need the hand of Jesus Christ clasped around your hand. You understand what I'm saying? You will not outsmart our cunning adversary of your own intellect. Meaning, utilize, trying to utilize and strategize with your own intellect. You are no match for Satan. Do you understand what I'm saying? You are no match for Satan, but I'm here to tell you that there's a man from Galilee. Good God Almighty. Let me tell you something. Nothing that the devil does gets by this man. And he's more than a man. When he was on earth, he was a man. He's the son of God. That's what I'm talking about. Nothing gets past Jesus. Jesus sees everything. He knows everything and he can do anything. And if you will take his hand today, he will walk with you. And when he walks with you and he talks with you, you don't have to worry about anything that the devil or enemy anything or any other living creature does out there. You understand? You can be rest assured that you are in good hands with the Son of God. Can I get a witness out there today? Okay? So here is the enemy's tactics in war. Let me tell you something. First of all, and I don't really like to address Satan. I don't like to send him no messages. I don't want to talk to him at all. But one thing that I want to let him know today is that whatever it was that he was trying to do back during um the summer of, I have to say, 2021. I want that sucker to know what he already knows. Um, 
I knew all along. I knew all along. And I'm going to leave it at that. Okay, now what I mean by that, my brothers and my sisters, because you know, hey, I'm all about giving you all pointers on the battlefield. What I wanted the devil to know, and he knows what that means. You all may not know, but he knows. What that means is, I knew that someone was coming towards me, trying to set me up. And I knew that someone was paying that person to do it. Good God Almighty. I knew it then. And now you know it now. Okay? That's all I have to say. Message sent. I knew all along. Let me tell you something, my brothers and my sisters. God is not training a fool. And one thing I can say on the battlefield, there are different ways that people approach you. Okay? You have to, number one, trust your intuition, trust your instincts and your gut feelings, and see with your spiritual eyes. See, there's a difference when people come towards you and versus when they are sent. Now, in both instances, in both cases, people will be traveling towards you, mean walking towards you, coming towards you all, okay? But there is something in your spirit and in the mind of your intellect that will let you know, sent, sent, sent. Not just coming of their own free will, not just coming just to say, hey, how you doing? What's up? It's a beautiful day. Hey, good to see you. But I'm talking about when people are sent. And it's, it, it's like an energy that they come with that. It's like, this person's not coming towards me because they want to come towards me to say, hey, somebody sent this person towards me. And not only did they send the person, but they paid the person to come towards me to try to deceive me to infiltrate my life so that they can take what they think is my personal information back to enemy camp. Conference over. Good God Almighty. Excuse me, one moment. Okay, I'm back. Oh, my God. Ain't God good. Ain't God good all the time. You see, let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. God Almighty, when you, he will put you up on game. He'll put you up on it. And then later on down the road, not that you, he feel maybe you really need it, but he just want to put it out there like that. You will get the confirmation. Good God Almighty. Good God Almighty. I've sent the message out to the kingdom of darkness. To let the devil and his minions and his workers and his stupid idiots out there know. <laughs> that uh, Jesus Christ is on top of everything. He sees everything. He hears everything. And he knows everything. Okay? And a lot of times, brothers and sisters, you know, like I said, Trust your intuition. I know that looking back even over my own life, had I trusted my intuition, I'm telling you, my God, my God. Looking back over my life, I realized that my intuition has never been wrong. My intuition has never led me astray. It's just that sometimes we interfere with our own intelligence because we want to give people the benefit of the doubt. Don't. Don't ever give people the benefit of the doubt. Whatever you feel within your own intu in, uh, intuitive nature about somebody, trust it. Whatever you feel in your gut about somebody, trust it. Because that is a warning from God Almighty. Good God Almighty, come on in here. Can I talk about this thing today? Okay? I'm here to tell you. All I can say and I don't want to get too much into this because, you know, I got to move on to other topics. You know, not that I'm going to stop talking about spiritual warfare, but as for this particular battle that I won in Jesus' name, you know, hey, I'm about to put this down because that's over and done and flushed. But I will say I know what I saw on the countenance of somebody that was working against me last summer in 2021. I won't say where I was. I won't say where the person was because I don't like to put too much out there. It's not that I'm trying to be mysterious, but I like to do things. You know, I, I, it's not that I won't go into detail, but now it's just not the time. If I don't feel that it's the time, it's not the time. But I will say this. I know what I saw on that person's face last summer in 2021. I saw a devil. If it was not the devil, 
it was a devil. If it was not the devil, meaning the form of Lucifer, it was a devil. I know what I saw because I'm telling you, when people devil and dabble in black magic, witchcraft, Satanism, uh, seances, and, and sending uh, death spells, and, and, and uh, trying to send um, beauty spells, and uh, whatever you call it, and mute spells, and whenever they deal in Satanism, satanic type things, whatever spirit, that are in them may begin to manifest and show themselves on the outside because what's on the inside is, 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 is it has to come out on the outside. It's the same as with the children of God. You know how um you could I don't know if you all have ever experienced this, but um for you all that are uh, brothers and sisters in the Lord, meaning you have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, have you ever met another uh, believer and they didn't tell you they were a believer, but you saw Jesus Christ? reflection on their countenances and by that I mean it's not that you saw the actuality of what he really looks like but he, they had a glow that it was something about their countenance that let them know they saved they know Jesus Christ well you know what the, the, the demonic realm is no different there's something about a demon there's something about a devil walking around in flesh you look at that face whatever in them oh it, it starts to shape shift on their faces with God can I talk about this thing in here today because I know what I saw. I know where I was. I won't say where I was. I won't even say where the individual was. But I know what I saw when I looked at that person's face. And the person was far off from me. But when I looked, I saw the face of the devil. I saw it. And even though it was the person, I saw the face of the devil. And not only that, but it had a... I don't know if I should say this or not because, you know, I don't want to, when I'm not really sure about something, I don't like to, to say it. But I will say it seemed like, and Lord forgive me if I'm wrong about this, it had a reddish tint to the face. And I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to leave it at that. And God, if that's not what I saw, forgive me for saying that. But as I recollect, I believe, I believe I saw a reddish tint. I'm not saying the devil is a little red evil man running around with a pitchfork. All I'm saying is, it just seemed like it had a, it just, it was the person's face, but it was something else that was shape-shifted, that had shape-shifted. It wasn't in the process of, it was like it was a mask that that person was wearing. And that is the same person that was secretly doing witchcraft on me behind my back and conspiring with, conspiring with whores against me and are doing things that they thought was going to offend me. So do you see how people can be involved in so much demonic stuff that it actually starts to show on their countenances? I know what I saw. I know what I, I'm a very highly spiritual person. I When I see something, I know what I saw. And that's why I don't let people argue me down. And that's why I don't discuss spiritual things with the carnal-minded people. So this message only... Spiritual brothers and sisters in the Lord will understand what I just said. Oh, it might be other people who are not even saved, and they, and they may be attacked with the spiritual realm, and they may say, oh, well, they don't follow Christ, but they know there's a spiritual realm. So, you know, a person doesn't have to be a believer to know there's a spiritual realm. But I'm telling you, I know what I saw. So what I'm saying is getting back to the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 12, for, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. But against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. And also, like I said, as far as uh, the person that Satan thought that he was going to utilize against me, there was another enemy in, in the environment that, for some reason, I have the feeling that that might have been the person that was paying that person to try to come up against me because that person was too much of a punk and a coward to step to me. You know what I'm saying? So, because like I said, I remember um, seeing something one night with, um, I will just say, some people um, interacting and conversating with each other, and I knew they were conspiring. And of course, I went on about my business, because it's none of my business. I don't have to worry about what's going on behind my back, because Jesus Christ watches my back for the eyes of the lord are in every place beholding the good and the evil so your girl don't have to worry about nothing and what i stop by to tell you today is that if you are walking with jesus christ you don't have to worry about anything that's going on 
around your life. Not in your life, but around your life. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because the eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the good and the evil. You understand what I'm saying? And God has got your back. Now, something's telling me to close right there, but I just want to add, God has got your back. You understand? So I feel like that the message, like I said, that's the message today. That's the message today that regardless of, um, you know, us wrestling uh, against things that are not flesh and not blood and wrestling against principalities and powers and the rules of the darkness of this world and spiritual wickedness in high places, regardless of all of that, the eyes of the Lord are in every place beholding the good and the evil. Now, that doesn't mean that you are to walk around without any armor, because the Bible does say in uh, chapter uh, 6 of the book of Ephesians, verse 11, put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. You understand? See, God wants you to be able to stand when the devil tries to tear you down. God wants you to be able to stand against lies and stand against deceptions and stand against witchcraft and stand against Satanism and voodoo and Satan and uh, seances and stand against uh, undercover devils and stand against uh, wolves in sheep's clothing and stand against serpents slithering all around you and, and, you know, so on and so forth. He wants you to be able to stand against fake smiles and fake grins and things like that. People standing up in your face looking at you grinning. And the whole time they grinning, uh, they don't even, they standing there, um, you know, like um, reading you the whole time. And let me, yeah, let me elaborate. I knew for some reason, uh, I kept going for some reason. Let me tell you something. Have you ever had somebody stand up and look at you and y'all were in conversation and they were looking at you grinning, but they were reading you? You, you know what I'm trying to say? See, it's a different kind of look. I don't know how to explain it. I don't even know how to explain the shift in somebody looking at you regularly and then somebody looking at you reading you. But let me tell you something. You can tell when somebody's reading you. I can tell when somebody's reading me. And it may not make sense to you at the time, but it will over a period of time. And, uh, you know, I had somebody um, do me like that last summer. You know, they were grinning at me, but they were reading me. And I know they, because, you know what, I can tell when somebody's looking at me and they've got thoughts going through their minds about me. So, uh, meaning, no matter what the conversation is about, there's another train of thought going on in their minds, like, of either what they're doing behind my back, what they said behind my back, or something that they've got cooking up behind my back, something conspiring. See, that's how spiritually intuitive I am. And I'm sure that many of you are that way too. So like I said, for those of you out there who know what I'm talking about, you, that means you're on that level. You know when somebody is listening at you and when they're just standing there reading you. It's a different type of look on their face. It's, it's like a, I think the old people, the older people used to call it studying you. Yeah, when somebody's studying you. That's what was being done to me. So I had to bring that to the forefront because I want the devil to know. <laughs> um, it's not that I played the game. It's that I am the game. Like I said, when I told the devil that I was the game, I meant what I said. So, um, and also, you know, uh, before I close, brothers and sisters, doesn't it feel good to let the devil know that um, you were on to him all, all along? Him, them, they, whoever, to just let them know that no, um, God is not training a fool on the battlefield, nor is he walking with one. Okay. All right, my brothers and my sisters. And with that said, God bless you all until next time. Remain sober. Remain vigilant because there, those of you out there, you may think that, um, I, how could I put it? You may think that there are certain parts of the world that are normal. And what by that I mean, there may be certain people that you look at and you might think they're normal because you all are normal. And you all are sane, and you're stable, and you're, um, you um, have a sturdy foundation. You have morals, you have principles, you have uh, integrity, you have ethics. Uh, you are a decent person. You're proper. Uh, you are, you are, some of you are out there, you're sophisticated. You do things properly. Even if there are those of you that may have come up in households, if your households were not proper, there are those of you that may have made a conscious decision to become proper people. Because, you know, people don't tell you who you ought to be. You choose who you want to be. But I want you to know 
And as what you probably already know, just remember that there are some people out there that are the exact opposite of you. And when they are in your presence, they will try to act like you act, talk like you talk, walk like you walk, dress like you dress, be. They want you to think that they are who you are. Like, I'm like you. No, they are not. They are liars. They are deceivers. They are from the pit. They are from the pit. Maybe not literally coming out of hell, but the spirits that are in them. And the hearts that they walk around with. They're pit crawlers. They're pit crawlers. Not everybody is saint. And don't look for you and other people. And I think a lot of times when uh, people that are properly raised, and I know I was properly raised. I was properly raised in a traditional home, you know, around my family. But don't look for you and other people. Don't think that other people had the same upbringing that you all had. Some people came up in so the dysfunction that some people came up in, you wonder how they even function to walk around and put food to their mouth to eat. Not everybody is sane, ladies. Not everybody is sane, gentlemen. That's the reason why you as children of God, and even if you are not a child of God, but you may have people around you that are dysfunctional, they want to bring their hell and their dysfunction to your life. If you allow them in your life, that's what will be poured into your circle. Don't allow them in your circle, ever, okay? And with that said, God bless you all. Until next time, that's the word. Bye-bye.